Okay, I've um, chosen to use one inch bolts. What I'll do is I'll take one of these wheels. I mean, there's a flat side to the wheel here, and there's a one side that's got a, a groove in it. I'm going to put the flat side against the metal, but I'm going to put a washer between the wheel and the plate and another washer on top. And I'm going to attach it with two nuts. One is a lock nut. I want to get it so it's tight enough to uh, to not wobble around a whole lot but loose enough so it spins easily I don't know if I've got a wrench that's thin enough yeah that'll work I want it a little tighter than that That's pretty good. Let's do the second one. If you'll notice the washers normally have a rounded side and a side that's pretty sharp and flat. I'm putting the rounded side against the wheel. That way there's no sharp edges that are going to catch on the, the wheel. That's a little too tight. That's pretty good. I'll put a little oil on it. I've got some 3-in-1 oil here that ought to work just fine. Okay, in the next uh, step I'll show you how it works. Okay, I've now chucked it up in the vise. And what I thought I would do is like this. Or I could bend, kind of just apply some pressure as I roll it through these rollers to turn an arc. Uh, it's working okay. The wheels aren't rolling that great, probably because it's a bolt. Wish I had bearings. I figure if I do this enough times I can turn an arc. Well, you can see, it's already starting to get an arc. And what I'll end up doing, it's going to be about a 40 inch piece on this particular antenna. that will be in a complete circle when I'm done. And what I may end up doing is I may end up putting a few other holes so I can adjoy, adjust these closer together to get a, a sharper arc. Or right at the end here it's going to be hard to get a curved all the way to the end. Okay, that's it.
Okay, while I was off camera there, I went ahead and drilled holes every half inch. Now I've got a lot more adjustment room. So let's put it back together again. This time I'll move it into the next hole in. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, that'll work. <coughs> you know, even if I just bend it a little bit at a time like this. Not rolling very good. But at least allows me control. Okay, very good. That's it. I made one other little change that I thought I should mention that made it roll better. You can notice where the uh, the nuts are. I have one on top and one underneath to lock it and that way I can get a, a better adjustment to how much uh, play there are in these wheels and it also it helps this bolt stay perfectly perpendicular to this plate and it seems to roll a lot better when I put it in the vise and try to roll the rod. <clears throat> Just as an example. There, see it's, it's rolling pretty good now. It'd be even better if it had bearings, but it seems to work just fine. It'll work for what I want to do, and it's very cheap. This whole thing cost me about $5 to make.